So we're out here today uh, doing an American Shad survey. We're on the spawning grounds here near Goldsboro. Each year the shad come up the river to spawn uh, somewhere between just below Goldsboro and all the way up to, uh, to Raleigh. Uh, part of our annual duties is to survey the, the fish population here on the spawning grounds. We take links, we take weights, we also take fin clip. In all of our American Shad stocking programs, we have what's called parentage-based tagging, where we take fin clips from the brood fish in the hatchery. And then from, from the data we get off the brood fish, we can then later this year, next year, even four or five years down the road, match up a fish that we get in our spawning ground survey with a fish that, that we sent to the hatchery. For instance, we'll know which, which male and which female produced that young, that young fish that later contributed to, uh, to the spawning population here on the spawning grounds. It's really important because that, that mark doesn't fade, the genetics stay the same over time, and it gives us real definitive evidence on our hatchery contribution rate. So we'll, we'll know whether or not in a few years from the fish we stocked last year, we'll know if that stocking took, and we'll also know which females and males produce those fish that we see later on the spawning grounds. We've seen in, the, in, in a lot of our surveys that the juvenile uh, hatchery contribution rate is somewhere between uh, about one and 12 percent. In the male, in the adults, it's probably it's 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 much lower, obviously, um, at somewhere between one and and three percent. But that data is just now coming available. Part of this is, is so we can, is an annual requirement for uh, ASMFC, Atlantic States Marine Fisheries Commission, so that we can stay in compliance with them, but, uh, but also we like to make sure we know what's going on with the shad on, a, on an annual basis. We also do surveys for hickory shad and striped bass. So what we have here are three, of the, three shad species that are commonly found in the Noosh River. The top one is a gizzard shad, the second one is a hickory shad, and the bottom one is a uh, American shad. We get a lot of questions about how to tell the difference. Um, obviously, the gizzard shad here has a rounded nose. It also has a, uh, a, a small uh, thread on its dorsal fin, kind of like the thread fin shad does. So you see that little thread there. Neither of the, the other Ameri the American or the hickory have that. When it comes to telling the difference between an American and a hickory shad, the easiest thing is to look at this underbite. The bottom jaw on the hickory shad extends past its top upper upper jaw or upper lip, where in the American shad, bottom and top jaws meet. And that's really the best way to tell the difference between the two fish species. The hickory, again, the bottom jaw protrudes, whereas with the American, you can see the, the two jaw lines meet. And that's how you tell the difference.